Hey everybody, how you doing? Season 2021 is here. NASCAR Cup Series at Atlanta Motor Speedway. I'll be in the decaled seed Ford Mustang number 10 car. I'm starting 11th in a field of 27. Race length is 100 laps, which equals 150 miles. Atlanta Motor Speedway is a one and a half mile quad oval. There's 24 degree banking in the turns and five degree banking on the straightaways. It's all about the details, making things a non-issue today. Nice and smooth on the fuel. Nice put on the lug nuts. Nice put on the racetrack and the pit calls. Really, you do a good job up there, and I think we're all in store for a fantastic day. All right. I think you're on the inside. Close. Season 2021 is here. NASCAR Cup Series at Atlanta. Brand new paint, brand new sponsor, the DeKalb Seed Car, Ford Mustang GT. Number two seed car I am, uh, but I qualified 11th, and as usual, about half the field didn't qualify from about 17 on back. Okay, only about 10 didn't. Running Gen X's season 202 setup. Changed the steering ratio to 14 to 1, and it felt really loose. If you saw my AI race here, it, it was like on rails but it was uh, super bad loose here, so I went through the matrix and just did a few clicks here and there to tighten it up just a little bit. I was really uh, working yeah, my tire. Three additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. All right, that's 25 laps per set of tire. If you break it out evenly, speaking of tires, I was really burning my tires up pretty damn hard in practice. Over 150 cars in the practice lobby. This is a pretty tight split. Seems to be the case uh, early evening race time slots early in the week. Later in the week, I think, is when you're going to get more of the uh, single split races at certain time slots. It is uh, 6 o'clock, 6.30 Central Iowa time, Tuesday. Just a quick note on this series. The first eight weeks of this series is kind of a fantasy schedule. This schedule here is a 12-week schedule. It does not follow the Cup Series schedule exactly until Daytona shows up. The half distance race follows the schedule exactly, so we've got about eight weeks to go before that race even shows up on iRacing here. Okay. I've got to be, I, I'm feathering it a little bit through the corners. Just breathing the throttle. Ooh, we got one up there real squirrely. Well, the first five or six have broke away already. And according to their qualifying times, that's not too surprising. And this little group here that I'm in has kind of broke away from the rest of the field. And we had Spinner, another one. Blinkers, they were spinning. They were drifting. Nice saves on both parts. 100 laps, a long, long, long way to go. I'm just going to take it easy. This car right behind me gets up to me and wants to make a pass. You can do that. Meanwhile, these two here. In fact, I think I'll just let him go, actually. There we go. There we go. Oh, there they go. I, I Stay down. Oh, man, that was threading the needle.
I knew those guys were going to get into it. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing I slowed down and let this car in front of me go, because that put me back just a hair. Of course, he got through it, but man, all I could do is hold the wheel straight and barely scrape that wall. Wow, wow, wow. That's going to look spectacular on a replay. Alright guys, we got a lot of people in our pit box. Just double check all your equipment, look at everything, make sure. All right, on the outside in 10th, but if the, if the start was anything, that, uh, an indicator of the future here, we might be able to pull away from the pack behind us like we did last time, almost immediately. In previous, previous races here at Atlanta, I have been able to pick up a lot of spots by being conservative with my tires and then as the fall off occurs on long runs, passing quite a few cars. Watching the rearview mirror and not where I'm driving. Almost smacked the wall. There we got one going around, almost two. Okay, you cats go, you go. Ooh, is that a wreck or a blinker? Boy, I tell you what, they must have fixed the smoke on the tires, because I'll tell you what, blinker tire smoke is just thicker than shit. We saw that in the uh, truck race. Alright, drop back to 15, that's okay. Two cars behind me, then a big gap. Some of these guys seem to be experiencing tire wear all uh, drop off already, tire drop off already. Oh, you son of a bitch. Outside, clear high. Threw a block at me.
that was only a 2x hit. Hopefully I'm not too hurt. line in the other race. We'll get back to that and see how that works for me. I pulled away from the guys that had crawled up my uh, rear bumper there when I got loose, hit the wall, and I'm making time on the car ahead of me. dancing just a little bit coming out of two there. Three and four here seems okay. And that's the case with this setup and with this track with my my driving. And I'll back out just a little earlier and get in just a little later. All right, we've caught up to the number 16 car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was uh, really, really weird. That kind of affected him, too. Well, that let these cars catch up. Wow, wow, I am just dead loose all of a sudden. Working the outside. Clear. Well, we're 21 laps in. Boy, I don't remember the car feeling this bad in the other races. But conditions and temperature and everything else, I suppose. We'll come up a, a lane. Well, there it went again. It almost wanted to come around again. And he's fighting it. Well, he's just weaving and bobbing all over the place. That leader 13 seconds behind me. Well, this is not the initial uh, showing I was kind of anticipating, to be honest with you, qualifying where I did. Yeah, that rear end just comes right around. Okay, do I need more tire pressure or less tire pressure? Whoa, yeah, look at that, I'm just... Wow. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> White knuckle, cotton clenching. I could be lining up behind it. 
I'm not going to get fuel this time, I think. Looks like you'll be lining up behind the 12. All right, buddy. Line up behind the 12. Lining up behind the six. Well, I took a pound out. I'm not sure. Start looking for you this night. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, Stop. I missed it. We'll go ahead and take the optional repairs on at the back of the pack. Long pace lap times here, so. Okay, I'm at the I'm at the cutout here, remember that. Go away, go, go away, go hard, hard, hard. Well, I was at the rear of the field in the truck race and came back for a 10th place finish, so. 51.5. Now we got so long a time to, so many laps to go here. I took a pound out of the rear. We'll see if that helps 20 laps in. I mean, I was just going into the corner and the rear end came around. I have never felt that before. And remember, I tightened the car up a little bit. <laughs> Or at least I think I did. Okay, game of survival here. Cautions breed cautions. Right at 20, 18 to 20 laps in when that rear end just started coming around.
save the tire, save the tire, save the tire. Okay, so the next two cars behind me are laps down. You go right ahead. Try to stay in this middle groove. Easy throttle inputs, easy steering wheel inputs. I was sliding the rear a little bit. That must have heated them boys up. I didn't take a look at the tires. Oh yeah, my gosh. 92% after only 20 some laps. 89, 89, right rear middle. So we took, uh, whoops. We took uh, one pound out of the rear. We'll see what the next one to say. But it does look like we're slowly reeling in that pack ahead of me. Okay, this is a position car right up here. He's coming in. He may not have come in on that last one, last uh, set of stops. Okay, 19 of this run. This is right about where the rear end started failing. But this whole run I've been in the middle lane instead of down on the apron line. See if that gains me anything. Okay, I'm really feeling it now. It, it's pushing to the corner, which is good. Okay, I've been experimenting with brake bias settings after watching a video on it. You can see I have it down to 3% from the stock 75. Ooh. They're all, they almost got together. And when you have a little more rear brake, it seems to pull the car to the left a little bit. Like that right there. Just barely perceivable, but it pulled the car to the left, helped it through the turn. So not the whole load of turning is on the front tire. Okay, the car feels a whole lot better. That could be because I'm low on fuel. Let's see if we can get this guy to quad here, set him up for turn two. One and two. Just a touch on the brake. But I've got to remember to set that back to zero when I come down pit road or the rear end's coming around. Okay. Not that many cars in front of me, so we'll put it back to normal.
Okay, we got, we're just past halfway. Got 14 laps to go. Might as well take a whole load of fuel. It ain't gonna make no difference by uh, chopping it off. Lit a little bit there. See that time when I touched the brake, the car did not move to the left. Okay, there it did. It's almost imperceivable. Okay, this guy's a lapper, or he's got fresh tires, I think. Outside. Door outside. Go there, clear. Clear. car up here is a positional car now. The number 16 car. Almost got in the wall. This is a lapper up here. We'll get by him. Almost came up into me. Nice job of keeping it off me. All right, now we can worry about the 16. Fuel just went to yellow. About six laps to go. We'll just uh, not worry about this uh, 16 up here. The leader's just six seconds behind me, so I'll go a lap down. He 
immediately. Okay, a solid 65 laps on a tank of fuel. I'm only taking 11 gallons then. Hopefully that will get me to the end. And let's come in. came out. I only took about a half a tank of fuel. Okay, that should get me to the end on everything. I do have a set of tires if I need them. Hopefully I took enough fuel. Still in 18th. I was up to 15th, maybe. Back to my metal lane strategy. Oh, let's take a look at the tires. 79, 279, yeah. No real big difference there. I think maybe the fuel load burning off is what saved me from uh, sliding as bad as I did in that first 20 lap run. Because it didn't happen again. Okay, 31 laps to go, 30 at the stripe. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Middle lane. See if we can maybe somehow, with everybody else coming in and pitting and all that, gain a few positions. Maybe even that miraculous top 10. Hey everybody, Dave here, gonna jump in as we watch this lackluster performance run to the end. I have some answers for you. Got on the forums uh, after this race, just kind of looking around, seeing what was going on and everything. And it turns out that iRacing has made an adjustment to the version seven tire that is used here in the Cup Series. And a long-winded explanation where he got this information, I don't know, but a member suggested or said that the tire 
technology in iRacing has advanced past the point of the track technology in iRacing. Another member liken this to a car dealer selling you a car with the newest and best fanciest transmission. However, it doesn't work very well between the engine and the rear end. And <laughs> that's about what I'm seeing here. A lot of people were uh, kind of grumbling that all of their setups fail now when they go through tech, or quite a few of them do. And I have seen that here when I've been trying to find a setup here for Atlanta and just kind of uh, practicing with my AI and so on and so forth. Uh, at different tracks that a lot of the setups that I had stored that I had uh, gotten from uh, various sources fail now because the tire model has changed. In addition, apparently the version 7 tire has now been implemented in the modified races, both the SK and the Tour Mod, and again, many of those setups no longer pass tech. And also one last note, other people have mentioned and apparently iRacing has thickened the tire smoke in the air now. All right, let's uh, jump ahead and watch me limp to the finish here. Did not want this. Whoa, big one apparently. Alright, buddy. Line up behind the fourteen. Oh, that was the car behind me almost got me. Okay, when we come in. No fuel, but I will take tires. All right, working 20 to go. Currently in 15th, but first car lap down right now. Okay, first car lap down. If we have another caution, I should be lucky dog. Should we start behind the three? Restart in 16th here. Well, better than 20th, I guess. And I suspect we're going to see some action.
He had a good run. Now there's no white on the relative board, nobody for me to race. Uh, the 14 car is my competition. I'm not sure where he's at. There he is. Okay, the white car behind me is a position now. Half a second behind me. Gain just a little bit on the car behind me. Tenth of a second. Another tenth. Another two tenths. Okay. Quit looking in the rearview mirror and pay attention to what's going on up ahead of you because something may be happening shortly. That's Harry on the outside there. Over a second and a half back to the positional car behind me. I don't need to race these guys up here. It's gonna do me nothing to pass them. But when it happens, if it's provided, I will. Two seconds to the car behind me. And then 15. The only way I'm going to gain any spots is a wreck, and they punch out. So, as long as uh, the number 14 car doesn't come up and uh, challenge me, this is it. This is it, guys. Well, this has been kind of dis disappointing. I'm going to come away with only a 2x, though, it looks like. And a slight negative on the uh, high rating. That's okay. Two and a half seconds back to the positional car behind me. Three seconds now. Okay. Six to go. Just bring it home. Ooh, 14th now. Somebody must have pitted. Okay, so uh, we're 16 laps into this run. And uh, I think it's safe to say that when my rear end started floating, that was fuel load. Maybe that tire pressure adjustment, one pound did something, but I think it was more fuel load. And I was scrubbing my rears. Well, they took the checker or the white, so no green-white checker. Looks like a 14th, guys and gals. Well, better than dead last, I guess.
I'll take it. Car isn't beat up, banged up, and missing the front. Could have been a lot worse. I didn't wreck, didn't get wrecked. And I avoided some spectacular uh, incidents. That threading through the wall, <laughs> that was something else. Well, not the showing that I wanted in the new car, first race, but like I said, no, could have been worse. Than what it could have been. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse, absolutely. A lot better than it could have been. All right. All right, guys, thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.